radiation is used for prostate cancer and has been for many years. It can be both by external beam therapy as we use here or by placing seeds into the prostate itself, either permanent or temporary. Seed method is over a shorter period of time, but it's used for earlier, less aggressive cancers. Hi, I'm Paul Kaminsky. I'm the radiation oncologist here at Valley Tumor, the Antelope Valley Cancer Center. This is the linear accelerator we use for treating our patients with external beam treatment. There's a backlog, which is custom molded to the individual patient. So they're in a reproducible position each day. The treatment machine, treatment gantry, rotates around the patient so that the radiation focuses is summed on the prostate and better sparing the surrounding structures. We use IMRT, intensity modulated radiation therapy, which is an integrated computer program with the actual treatment machine so that it does better focus giving a more uniform dose to the prostate and better sparing surrounding structures, minimizing the side effects. Treatment is over an eight-week period on a Monday through Friday basis. People are in the center for perhaps 20 minutes each day, normally coming at the same time, but there's obviously some variation. We're pretty good about following schedules. I'm the one that usually follows it up. But the techs around the machine and the patients do quite well. External beam therapy has been used for many years. It was traditionally thought that it was equivalent to surgery for early tumors, but as we've been able to escalate the dose with better delivery techniques, the higher dose does appear to be comparable to surgery for, for later tumors. Radiation does seem to offer a bit less chance of impotence and incontinence one cannot normally do surgery after radiation, although I've seen it once or twice in the last couple of years where I've never seen it before. The side effects with the course of external beam therapy don't normally start until the fourth week or so, and obviously they're related to the structures in the area of the prostate, so diarrhea, some urine symptoms, burning of frequency, perhaps some fatigue, and some redness of the skin. All of these have various means of treatment. If the treatment doesn't prove effective, then we take several days off, let things settle down and continue on with the treatment. We do have a formula that takes the dose of radiation we want to give over the time we want to give it versus the actual time. So if there are any undue breaks in treatment, we might add a treatment to biologically compensate for the gap.